guys I'm back so I wanted to try out this new look for church I got this new wig and you know anytime I buy a new wig honey I've got to show y'all so let's jump right into it so I'm gonna start off today by using my Maybelline Master Prime it does not have SPF in it. Remember, we try to stay away from SPF because we love to take those pictures. So I'm just gonna rub it, make it warm on my hands, and rub it all over my face. Okay, so once I have gotten that all over my face, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it makes your face just kinda relax and be smooth so it can be ready. You know what I'm saying? You got to be ready. So after that, I'm going to do something a little different because I want my skin to be all nice and dewy and glowy when the sun hits it. My goal for every makeup look is when the sun hits my face, all my haters just shy away because they can't take how fabulous and fine I am. So I'm going to take this NYX Born to glow honey and I'm just gonna put that on my hand and as you can see you guys it's really gold and dewy and you don't want to get you know too happy with this because even though it doesn't have SPF in it it does have a lot of shimmer so you want to make sure you evenly distribute it over your face now I know you guys can see how like shiny and glowy my skin is it's just like okay you don't need the makeup just go outside and bless the kids with this okay but we're not gonna do that so we're gonna take our trusty beauty blender excuse her she's a little dirty and we're gonna dampen her up after we dampen our beauty blender up we're gonna take our Maybelline fit me I am the color three five five honey and we are gonna put that on our hand and damp our beauty blender in that and we're gonna just evenly put our foundation all over our face Okay, so after we have rubbed our foundation on, I know it kind of looks a little orange, but calm down, honey, calm down. You know our rule, blend until your hand falls off. And I would never put on a foundation that's not the same or at least remotely close to my skin tone. So I know it's a little orange, but wait, when it dries and calms down, we will be here. Okay, we will be here so you know what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna do my concealer with our Maybelline master concealer but before I do that I'm gonna take my Maybelline baby lips and I'm gonna put some moisturizer on my lips because my lips have been cracking a lot you guys and I'm not here for that, so I'm sorry for the Vaseline lip, but it had to be done. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Concealer, and I'm just going to put this up under my eye, above my lip, on my chin, and of course, up my nose area. And I'm just going to take the good blenders that the Lord gave me, and I'm going to blend that out, okay? Okay, you guys, so after I have blended my concealer in, you know what I'm going to do next. You know what we're going to do next. We're going to take that Sasha Buttercup setting powder and our trusty sponge, and we're going to set our highlight. You want to set real fast with this concealer, I've noticed, because if you don't, girl, them lines up under your eyes will start creasing real, real, real fast. And you don't need those problems in your life. You really don't. Okay, so while we let that shimmy and bake, you know we gonna do our brows. And for my brows, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetic Flawless Eyebrow Kit. Now, the reason I am using this is because if you open it up, you guys, you will see, and excuse it for being messy, you got some lovely wax here to hold those little hairs down. Then, of course, you have a light powder for the beginning of your brow and a dark for the back. 
So we are going to do those. But before we do those, I am knocking stuff over, y'all. So before we do those, we're going to take our good trusted brush and brush those hairs up. We're going to just go ahead and dip into that wax. And we're going to sculpt our brows and set it with the powder. Now, I am going to do this off camera because it does take a little while. And we don't got time for that. We're already on a limit. So, I'll be right back, babies. Wait, just patient. Just patiently as you possibly can. I promise I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So, now we are back with our brows all fleekish. Oh, pretty on fleek. Pretty on fleek. Ooh. So, now that we have our brows together, honey, it is on to our lids. Now, I'm going to use this fun little six color palette from BH Cosmetics that I got sent to me by them when I ordered. They're doing something a little free, you know? So, since I wanted to do a nice purple look, I think I am going to do this bottom row right here to give me a little bit of life but for my transition color I'm definitely gonna use this nice pretty little pink up here or maybe I changed my mind I'm gonna use this nice little burgundy color to just be my transition so I am going to take my cute unnamed purple little blending brush and I'm just gonna dip it in that burgundy now BH Cosmetics has a good good quality there their stuff is usually really pigmented so hopefully I won't have to spray these with my setting spray okay so I have put the red a little bit over my crease not red I'm sorry burgundy a little bit over my crease it's gonna be my transition color I didn't have to use my setting spray but I think for the purple I might have to so what I am going to do is I'm gonna take this cool purple right here and I'm gonna put it on my lid and I'm definitely gonna focus it only on the center of my lid you know well yeah just the center and maybe a little bit over not all the way towards the end of my eye but a little bit over almost towards the end so I'm gonna dip it in there using the same blending brush I find it's really easy to blend your eyeshadows when you have a little bit of the color before on the brush already Okay, so after I put the purple in the middle and kind of blend it a little bit into my transition color, I'm going to take this nice, pretty, silvery color right here and see what that does. Y'all, I'm so amazed because I'm not having to wet this brush at all, and these are showing up like really pigmented, and I'm just like in heaven right now. Okay, so now that I've got this light shimmery purple in my corner and the other normal purple towards the back with a little bit of my transition color hanging out, I am going to dip into this gray color and with this flat blending brush and I'm just going to kind of create me a little bit of a smoky. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Not a big one, but, but a little. Just a little smoky. A little smoky. Not Norfolk, but a little smoky. I'm really here. So after we do that, we are going to highlight our brow. And I wonder, should I do this one or this one? Hmm. I think I want to do this white because we have a lot of purple rain going on. So I'm just going to dip my blending brush into that before I make sure none of the remaining purple from your previous um, application is on there. And I'm just going to pack it on the highlight of my brow. Yes! Okay, so now that our purple haze is on and popping, honey, uh, y'all, I am so here for my eyes right now. Like, y'all don't even know. So, of course, I am going to put me on some lashes. And I'm going to be using the Solana Eyelash Splashes. And they're going to be these lovely beauties right here. So, I'm going to put them on off camera and come right back. One second. And I have applied my lashes in a line. I gave you guys a nice little wing, you know. So when I bat these lashes, you will know 
that we are doing more than just playing in this makeup, honey. We are here to slay. So you know what happens next, right? I'm gonna take this big old Kabuki brush and wipe off my setting powder. After we have taken care of that, y'all know it's time for our contour. So we are gonna use that NYX contour stick in the color Espresso, and we're gonna slim this face on down, baby. We're gonna slim it on down. So now that we have contoured our face with that NYX contour kit, we are going to take our Espresso Mineral Powder and our huge Lovely and Pink Fan Brush. We're going to dip it in there and we're going to emphasize those parts that we contoured just a little bit more. Give them a little bit more life. Not a lot, but just a little bit more, you know? Alright, so after you have gotten your blush together, you know we are going to take our L'Oreal Lumi Highlighter. I love this stuff, you guys. And our small friend brush. Make sure there is no powder from your contour on this little brush because you don't want to be spreading dark powder around your face, girl. So after you do this, we are going to dip this in here. You guys, this stuff is crazy. For this to be a drugstore highlighter, this stuff is crazy. You are about to see how crazy it is. Just watch this. Just watch. Can you, can, do you see this? Okay, you guys. So I didn't go overboard with the highlighter like I usually do because if you don't remember, previously we put that NYX Born to Glow on us. So you don't need a lot of highlighter. Our skin has been gleaming the entire video. This is gonna be great for, I got, oh my God, I got concealer on my shirt. <laughs> but this is gonna be great for a summer bronze look. You need to go and purchase it, you guys, if you haven't purchased it yet, because it is awesome. It's awesome. So what we're gonna do for our lippy, we are going to use three, not one, not two, but three colors by ColourPop. The colors we are using are Sunday, Lucci, and Zipper. So we are going to take Zipper, which is the darkest, and go around the outside of our lips and just out, you know, just outline them. Okay, so after we have outlined our lips with zipper, we're going to go almost to the center, but not completely with our lychee. If I can get it open. <laughs> okay, so after we do our almost center, but not quite center with lychee, we are going to take Sunday and hit the center, baby, to give us a little bit of mm for a little bit of um, uh, you know? All right, you guys. Now, I will say one thing about ColourPop. Their mattes do dry very quickly, so I suggest when putting these on, you kind of do it as fast as you possibly can because you don't want to get a lumpy lip type thing, which is kind of a problem with what I had going on. So, now you know what we're going to do next. We are going to set it with our NYX setting spray. We're going to go for that matte look, and we are going to just... Uh, Transform. All right, babies, here is the finished look. I hope you guys love it. This is going to be our blonde bombshell of the week. I love this wig, you guys. I can't wait to come through the scene at church and be like, hello, goodbye, good evening, be blessed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Well, this week's video, I'm sorry. And this look, again, as always, stay safe, be great. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Bye.